Hey, happy weekend, everybody. It's Fez again. We are resuming the switch room walkthrough on the Ultra Violence difficulty for the PC using the GZ Doom engine. So, we are almost finished with episode three. We are on map seven, Bloody Premonition. So, it's uh, pretty well named. Um, I guess with all the red theme, red walls, red ceilings, red floors. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's get to it. So let's grab those shotgun shells if you need them, and uh, open that door, take out the gunners, get that chainsaw already. We got some demons to toast here. This level's got lots of demons and cacodemons, so uh, yeah, have fun with it. Yeah, we're going to take on like five demons right off the bat. Alright, so we can go uh, one of three ways. We can go straight ahead, to the left, or to the right. I'm going to go to the right. Just be sure to avoid that cacodemon. Alright, there are some uh, lost souls over there. In the process of waking the lost souls up, there are some demons awake, uh, awaiting us too. So, here they come. There we go. Here comes another demon. We're really putting that chainsaw to use today, aren't we? There's another demon. There's another specter behind that demon in that dark flashing room right there. Yeah, that's kind of a scary looking room right there with all the intestines and the ceiling and the floor and the pained, anguished faces right there. That's just creepy. All right, so uh, we're, we come to this big red structure here. Um, so we can go one of two ways. We can go left or right. Let's go to the right. And of course, there's yet another demon waiting for us. And we woke up a caca demon. Or we're about to wake up a caca demon at least. In that corridor with the vines in it. Yeah, lots of fun chainsawing. Yeah, there's another caca demon right there we just woke up. Oh, hey demon. Didn't know you were coming. Okay, so there's the yellow key. We can't reach it yet, but we will later on. So what we can do right now is um, go around this red structure here. Click on this demon here. All right, and we'll make our way over here to um, where those flaming skulls are at. Not the... <laughs> well, uh, the lost souls. Yeah, I was going to refer to them. I was talking to that skewer right there. Up these stairs we go. We'll take on the demon. Okay, so uh, I'm sure you can probably tell this is Model Op E1M7 uh, computer station, so, but with an E3 theme. Okay, so one quick thing right here, you'll notice that there's lots of uh, invisible walls, lots of shortcuts, so you'll notice that. It's kind of cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in the area here where that skewer is of the Flaming Skulls, we'll take on this demon, and in the process... We'll flip that switch to raise the floor. It's a one-time switch, so um, if you don't make it up the first time, you don't get to go up. All right, first secret. All right, not much there, just a gunner and some armor. So but whatever, I'll take it. Okay, so what we're going to do next is now... We'll uh, go through the passageway over here up these stairs there are some uh, lost souls hopefully we'll wake them up you know screw it. I need to use a shot man I'm tired of I'm just waiting all right and I'm gonna get the rocket launcher out because there comes a bear in a hell Goodness, took a lot more rockets than I thought. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our way to that platform, grab the radiation suit, drop off over here, grab the berserk pack and take the teleporter. Back to the area right by the yellow key. Okay, so speaking of keys, we're gonna grab the red key. So this outdoor area, 
We're going to step out here. We're going to grab the invisibility sphere, and we're going to dart over to the other side, grab the red key, and find ourselves opening up a trap with lots of lost souls and gunners. So, uh, take extra care with this, because it's kind of a deadly map, deadly part of the map, even with the invisibility. But it's very helpful, and they put it there for a reason, so... Yeah. A couple more gunners over here. Alright. I believe there is also a, uh demon up there, but I may not get a chance to take him out yet. I'm not going to worry about that too much right now. Okay, so we have the red key. Oh, I got a berserk pack. I'll just punch him out. There we go. Okay, what do we do next? Okay, so we come to a fork on the road. We can go straight, or we can go to the right. Um, it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to go to the right just because I feel like it. Punch out the demon. Nice. There is a uh, invulnerability sphere. Oh, hello, demon. Um, but first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross this pool over here. And where the vertebrae and bones and stuff are at. I'm going to take the lift up, punch out the demon, get the BFG, fire point blank at the Baron. Nice. Get the chainsaw out and take out that Cacodemon. That's the exact same Cacodemon that we saw right away um, at the start of the map from the right. He's hurling lightning balls at us. So, but there is a secret in this area where that uh, skin is at, but we're not going to touch that just yet. I want to save that. Flip the switch down. And let them in fight. He'll at least weaken the Cacodemon. Oh, and more in fighting. Lost Souls will duke it out. I like that. Okay, so the demon wasn't going to win anyway, but... He at least weakened the Cacodemon a little bit. All right, cool. Okay, so that nook over there, um, it takes you to the secret I was describing a minute ago, but again, I'm not going there just yet. So I'm going to drop down, grab the radiation suit, and we're going to take this door right here, take the teleporter. Let's see if I can chainsaw that demon from here. Shotgun the shotgunner. Take the tunnel, take out the gunners. But there was a demon here, but I think we already woke him up. So let's grab the radiation suit and press on. Okay, I'll. Whoops, wrong way. I'll go back to. Hey, demon! Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take that lift up. Punch out the demons. There's three of them, if I'm not mistaken. There's two doors. I'll take the one this far corner over here first. And here's a bridge. Wait till it completes. Here's the next secret. Take out the specter, grab those goggles for night vision. Here, grab another radiation suit. Why not? Alright, so now that that's grabbed... Well, hello, Baron. I didn't even see you there. He, that was kind of unexpected. An unexpected pleasure. Goodbye, Baron. Okay, so what we're going to do next is... Um, here is an area right there that reveals itself. A, a switch with lots of lost souls and a BFG. Now, the area they spawned out of is the secret area. We'll tag that momentarily. I'm not a fan of this night vision. I forgot to turn that off, but I'm not going to worry about that too much right now. Where the BFG 9000 is at, that's the actual secret. So go ahead and tag that if you haven't already done so. All right. Um, lost my train of thought again. I hate that. 
Okay, so we need to go back up over there. Um, over here. And we'll take the other bull right here. 20% damaging, so just be cautious. Let's run over here. Take out the gunner. Alright, so we're on the other side of that same area that um, we dropped down. It was, uh, okay. Um, it was the same area that overlooked. If you drop down there, you can take the teleporter and have the berserker pack and everything. So, yeah, nothing special. There is another hidden wall around here somewhere. Oh, god dang, I forgot where it's at. Night vision's wearing off. It's right here, that's it. We'll go ahead and take that door right here. And here we are. It's, yep, that's exactly what it is. That's, that's the hidden thing right there. Now we can go get the yellow key. Alright, so drop down over here. Grab the radiation suit. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that invulnerability just because. I grab the mega armor, which is always nice. And that wall right there in the middle takes us to the teleporter for our next secret. Grab the goodies. And there's a rocket launch with some rockets. Hopefully, did I get everything there? I think I did. I hope so. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's all that's left is a uh, the last secret. Yep. Well, hello, demon. Okay. All right. So all that we really have to deal with at this point is uh, the last secret, which I'll just go ahead and knock out now. Okay. Hello, demon. There's the yellow door right there. Yep. Take the yellow door. Get the blue key and the, uh, whatchamacallit, the backpack. I'll drop down. We'll get the last secret now. What the heck. Might as well. So it's back in the area where, where the, um, yeah, the eye switches. Flip that up, right? Like so. And go in this area right here that skin and fleshes and we get a soul sphere nice to have all right so now we got the blue key so we're about done with this and this is at the point where the blue key is just not really you or the blue key but the chainsaw runs out of usefulness we don't need it so much anymore so i get the chain gun out for right now yep then here comes the baron That's almost everybody. I'm still missing one kill. Oh, my goodness. Who did I miss? Ah, oh, dang it. But that's the exit. Oh, my God. I can't believe I missed a kill. I mean, it's bad enough when I lose, you know, miss a secret or an item, but it, the kill is pretty significant. It's like a lost soul or something wandering around in here somewhere. I hear some rumbling, so it can't be too far. That's a damaging floor, by the way. Oh, hello, Cacodemon. Chainsaw time. How did I miss you? Oh my goodness, how did I, in the world did I miss you? All right, so we'll go back to the beginning, take the blue door again. And we're heading home. Bloody Premonition by Sci-Fi 42. So it's definitely uh, based off E1M7, so it, it's uh, with a more hellish theme. Uh, arguably more difficult with the uh, harder monsters, but you get to use a chainsaw there, but because of the both of these monsters are demons and cacodemons, so nothing too crazy. So, uh, with that being said, we're almost done. Got one more level to go. Abomination by Bagdus Blitz, and we're done with this entire episode. So, what awaits us, I wonder. All right, well, I will see you guys next time. Take care, everybody. God bless.